Hello there, you're very much welcome to all the Doris Healthy Tasty Meals. So today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious, sumptuous catfish pepper soup. So let's start with the ingredient I use. This is my catfish. First, you like to clean your catfish is to wash it properly. Um, here is it. So I want to start by washing the catfish is uh, a large size or let me say medium because there will still be some that are larger so i want to properly wash it but i got it yesterday I caught them remove the intestine and store it in the fridge so you can still do yours like that you know you can get the frozen one but this i got the fresh one from the market so I'm just trying to give it a thorough wash. So I want to say thank you to my returning subscribers. Thank you guys for your support. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. This channel is all about sharing healthy recipes, their nutritional benefits and content, demonstrating how you can make a healthy tasty meals, guys. So you won't regret subscribing. This fish is super slimy. I wash it like several times before <laughs> I could get the slimes out. Yeah, although I still use um, hot water to help me get it out thoroughly. You're going to see how to uh, kind of add hot water to help the slimes of the skin. Having catfish in your meal is a healthy option. Because it's full of um, a lot of nutritional benefits. It has omega-3, omega-6, full of protein, low in cholesterol. You know, it just in one of my video I enumerate the nutritional benefits of catfish. So maybe you can go check that video. I think it's um how to make healthy okra soup so in that video I explained the national benefit catfish but catfish guys if you don't start including catfish in your diet please do so at least maybe once in a week it has a lot of uh, nutritional benefits and in this video we are going to make our own catfish pepper soup you are homemade you are preparing it yourself so here is my fish still giving it a thorough wash you know I need to wash it properly I added some salt to make sure it's thoroughly washed before I'll add um, the hot water In addition to managing the slime, hot water also helps the fish to firm up, like to prevent flaking when you are preparing, when you're cooking it. So if you don't you kind of um, steam it in hot water like this and you start cooking, the fish can easily flake when it gets into the pot. So here I'm trying to cut out some of the bony things. Okay, good. The uh, tail still have some flesh left in the fins, <laughs> so I'm not cutting it out. So here is um, we are starting the prep. That is uh, the, this is Oda native spice. I think it's called African strand pepper or Negro pepper. So I want to add it first. I could not blend it. I want it to soften enough before I match it. And that is um, two scotch bonnets I'm using uh, and that is uh, chili pepper I still want to add it to it anyway this method is very much okay and um, it kind of give flavor to the water before you introduce your fish 
though there's still another method where you can just add the fish and start cooking everything immediately in one of my videos i think i did something like that and the uh, fish still tastes good but this one is just another method that you can still use in preparing your catfish pepper soup so some of these spices i use guys i'm going to leave it in the description box for you so don't worry so after i let the spice boil like two minutes i introduced my fish and still continue adding other spices like um, crayfish i really use a lot of crayfish in this um, pepper soup because i love crayfish enough a lot guys so this is it like it has cooked for like five more minutes i want to take out the chili pe pepper and the uh, scotch bonnet you know i want to match it into paste and reintroduce it to the cook to the pot and the negro uh, pepper too is there here i've tried to match it and it's also back to the pot for more flavor you know when i match the negro pepper it's a kind of help to expose the inside the seed too to add more fa uh, flavor to this fish and cook it for 30 minutes for all the spices to give out their full flavor and taste so the last i'm going in with is my scent leaf you can use otazi leaf that is the heart shaped leaf i'll be using the otazi leaf for garnishing i want this scent leaf to add more flavor to this pepper soup if you're familiar with scent leaf you know it's very it goes very very well with pepper soup so it has to be on fire to you know infuse its flavor to the meal so give it the last side by side stir and serve always remember to stir your fish side by side this help it to still remain in shape and not flaking and also remember to taste for salt and adjust the salt when necessary so we are now ready to serve and look at it still in shape and well cooked this fish tastes so great guys give it a try and let me know in the comment section i'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys because it tastes really amazing i hope you enjoy trying it so i'm garnishing it with the heart shaped leaf which is the otazi and i still added some fresh tomatoes you know <laughs> this makes it look so amazing and having the bite of fresh tomato just add more nourishment to the meal i so much enjoy eating this as much as i enjoy cooking it so let me know in the comment section if you give it a try thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time